Hello folks, uh, I'm here with my beautiful other half tonight. I spent the day today cutting up this uh, Inyala and she's going to show us uh, how to make venison biltong. Uh, in the States they refer to it as jerky, but your jerky doesn't taste anything like ours does. Jenny has been making this ever since she was a child. Her father was an avid hunter and spent a lot of time doing this, so she knows what it's all about. Um, so I'm going to switch the camera over to her very shortly. I just want to show you that I've cut the um, biltong into strips today. Um, and you can see that Jenny will show you that we've cut them in. Ideally you want them about half an inch thick or so. And uh, you want to try and cut as much sinew out as possible. So here we go. I'm handing you over to my beautiful other half. Hello folks, um, okay, yeah, being English, my second language, you guys must just keep up with me. Um, I'm going to divide it in, let's see, about three to four containers. Um, you can use pretty much anything we're going to go today for the Crown National one. Um, you can use brown spirit vinegar um, with it and then you work about on 50 to 100 grams per kg. Oh, but being doing this now for yeah pretty much 35 years um, I'm just gonna do it like we normally do it um, okay let's quickly divide it up and yeah um, just excuse my two beautiful boys yes Dana I will watch you now just give me a second there You can, you can use brown sugar, you can use coriander, you can use black pepper and salt. That's an easy, cheaper way to go. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you the mixture now. Mix these ones, take this out of the excess blood. Mama can help you, okay, Tony? Sorry for my vacations there. Um, okay. Mama, okay, two. One, steady. One, steady, go. <laughs> okay. One, steady, um, go. You just have a look here. You see that? Coriander, coarse salt. Um, black peppercorns, yeah, beautiful. What Ryan and me normally do is we actually mix that all up and we actually freeze it and then we um, we take it out and let it dry up and then we don't have the excess bottle in one step, in one go. Um, and that's ideal but otherwise if you want to hang it up you need to leave it overnight in the fridge yeah so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna start off by opening this brown sugar I'll just get the feel of it brown sugar or brown vinegar oh, sorry brown vinegar so how much have you put in there now? The recipe is saying you work on about 45 to 50 grams per kg. But, um, yet again, I'm going to do what we used to. The South African way, you don't read the manual. Throw the manual away and just do it with the eye. Yeah. But uh, Jenny is a professional chef, she's a master baker and in fact uh, we're spicing all this wonderful uh, biltong here in her bakery. She is an artisan baker and uh, you'll have to excuse the little terrorist here. So he's wanting lots of attention as usual. And the other terrorist has just joined us as well. Uh, so it's all a family thing. No, get you 
yourself a chair and then you get up. And then you can also see the bowler. Get yourself a chair. So now this is becoming a family effort here. So Daniel, do you want to help mix in here? Can you? Do you want to? What to do? So that means why do we throw Say all cheese. the spices? Cheese. Ah. Ah. I don't do that. Guys, pretty much it's supposed to look but like this. Um, you just need to make sure that that's why I like using the brown vinegar. Um, it's just helping to get the, the spices everywhere. I think you should also add that the brown vinegar actually does help in many respects in keeping off unwanted insects off your meat when it's drying because this is air cured. Uh, what we will do here is we will hang this outside once it's sort of uh, marinated or soaked overnight and uh, it should be all good to go. Daniel, will you go and open the door for Tyler please? left one a little bit more it's, so that's what's this daniel uh, you call this botong botong the ones that you and daddy is eating up botong Mm -hmm. Maybe put a little bit too much brown vinegar in here, but it's fine. By mixing all of these ones, they will be divided nicely. And yeah, um, so Ryan, what's the plan? Do you want to hang some up tomorrow morning? Um, actually, didn't discuss it. I think uh, I think the plan is to uh, probably just let the biltong sit in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow we'll probably package it, freeze some of it and we will dry some of it and hang it up tomorrow so you can join us for the hanging process of this beautiful meat. If you're a South African, if you're a South African, I'm sure you're all drooling by now. Um, the smell of coriander, black pepper, salt, vinegar is something that gets the South Africans juices flowing here. It smells absolutely amazing. Let's see what Daniel thinks about it. <laughs> He's not keen on that, but uh, the real product will, will do the show the test. Okay, thank you everyone. Take care. Thank you. Okay folks, thanks for joining us with my beautiful other half here. Um, she spent a good time showing us what she, she does. Um, just remember, if you want to see more of this video, leave a comment below and uh, we'll bring you some more of this stuff. Maybe we can get Jenny to do some of her baking for you. She's a sourdough artisan baker and she does some truly amazing stuff. Thanks for being with us. Cheers.